Okay, hello family, and welcome back to another episode of the Metalite Zone Theory. I'm your host, Metalite Being, and we're on Metalite Radio. And before we get started, I just want to greet all the listeners out there, from uh, new to old, you know, um, it doesn't really make a difference, we're all part of one community, we're all here together right now, and I just think that that should be celebrated more. Here, one moment, let me get my levels right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Like I said, I just want to welcome you guys. Today's episode is going to be about the law of attraction and how we can use that to actually create wealth for ourselves. And obviously, I'm not saying anything that you guys never heard before. I'm just trying to add my like little spin on it, you know. So, um, well, I already did the introduction today. Um, so pretty much, I just want to highlight the importance of understanding the metaphysical concept of the law of attraction, just so we can improve our financial well-being. And like I like to start these off, first I want to give a personal connection about like attraction, pretty much. Um, so my own personal experience and anecdotal evidence, right, that relates to the law of attraction, especially for like finance. I just remember when I was working... 50 60 70 hours a week uh just you know just eating up all that overtime and stuff like that my mind was in a very different state and i actually did want abundance so it made it very easy for me to put myself in a situation where i was actually attracting a lot more um like i said it's like my hard work me vibrating on that frequency of i guess you would say money right it allowed me to pretty much like supersede the things that were happening around me especially my environment and um i just think that like you know just like that short little story it actually does explain a lot when it comes to attraction like how it more or less like starts with us and like i said in the last video it's more or less two poles you're at one end and what you want is at the other end and the more you can make your vibrational frequency align to what you want on the other side that's really how you guys become one that's how things manifest and take place you know so before we dive in to the real topic of discussion today you know you guys got to get your shots ready got to get the shots ready all right i'll give you guys a few seconds and honestly i really don't know how this is going because i usually just do these videos or this audio in one take right and as soon as i finish recording it i just upload it and they're saying we're running at like 72 cpu right now which is kind of crazy because i'm only moving this at like 24 frames per second max um but as long as it's like you know still loading up for you guys you know i think i gave you guys more than enough time to get that shot ready um so yeah here wait one more second let me just see something real quick So pretty much let's just all get our shots ready in three, two, one. That one wasn't that big, but still felt like it. My throat's kind of sore. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell if you're enjoying the content. We're trying to get 10 likes and 10 comments on each video subscriber goal right now is 500 subscribers and then we can add that merch on the youtube channel even though it's already on my website if you guys want to check it out also want to give some shout outs to my friend Quan x he has a youtube channel definitely check that out he posts physical or um uh, workout videos he uh poses metaphysics just like me you know very deep mind to like tap into very disciplined mind as well um also want to sponsor out well, these aren't paid sponsors. Just want to shout out um, the partnership that I'm going into as well with my friend and his dad. It's called Now Cran. And um, we're definitely going to do some great things, especially when it comes to like painting and innovation, you know. So I just want to shout out both of those. I'll put a link into that, into the description. Um, we also have a YouTube channel just for that if you guys want to check it out. Now, I'm sorry for the sponsors. Let's just get into the video. All right, we're ready to go a shot. Got us loose. So now, pretty much the introduction to the topic. Let's just like define the law of attraction 
pretty much. It's the idea that that light attracts light or that, let's just say, positive or negative thoughts bring on positive or negative experiences to a person. So pretty much you are what you attract, you know. So liking this attracts likeness. Like, you know, I know we like to say that um, the opposites attract, but just think, just think about it like this, right? Have you ever, if you're a clean person, would you say that you're attracted to filth? Like, no. I mean, you are by saying that filth is more attracted to you, but more or less the law of attraction works more like two raindrops that are that are on a window and one is going down is about to collide with the other one they like literally morph together it's kind of like they're pulling each other that they're really attracted to each other because they're one in the same they're vibrating on the same frequency right so when we actually think about the law of attraction its roots really lie in like a lot of philosophical and spiritual traditions if you think about down to um the book the Kabbalion that was said to be written or said to be like uh, documents of Hermes Trismegistus over thousands of years ago the person who was the contemporary to Abraham and we call these things Abrahamic faiths like uh, Islam Judaism and Christianity right or Catholicism whatever one you want to say even though I think Catholicism is just a form of Christianity so this is all this is all taking place even in his times right principle of correspondence as above so below which is the second first principle the principle of mentalism second principle the principle of correspondence and then i believe it goes on to vibration then polarity then rhythm then um causality and then gender so you can actually see how a lot of these things um just like the first couple laws and itself really defines you know how we can actually manifest things just through the power of thought through mentalism and then the law of correspondence as above so below so things that are on one plane is equally aligned to things that are on a different plane like you know what i mean it's the physical plane is aligned with the spiritual plane and obviously the mental is the in between but the mental is like you know how we get a lot of the things done um a proponent i remember watching this movie called the secret and this is just giving us background like information and stuff i think that's that's written by a, a lady named Rhonda. i think Rhonda burn Rhonda burns or something like that right and pretty much a lot of the stuff that she was saying or the director or whoever directed it it's really like all about the power of the mind and um that's what's going to make you want to change any situation that you have in your life it's first mentally saying that i can do it and i know this sounds so cliche we hear this on a whole bunch of youtube videos you know maybe it's just my turn to say it you know but we see it all the time that uh it really has to it starts with us and how we decide to think and sometimes it's subconscious uh subconsciously we just kind of fix our way of thinking because we just get tired of like life and reality and, and like how how it's going you know um so before i play the song you know we gotta do that i want to ask you guys some key questions before uh before we just dive into that beautiful symphony right and like i said before if you feel deep in your heart to like put the comment or put your answers in the comment section put it because there's other people who probably feel the same way that you feel and would love to like you know hear what other people have to say and maybe we can all just build upon something like like while we're here right so the first question is how does the law of attraction work in practical terms second question what are the fundamental principles behind attracting wealth number three can anyone use the law of attraction to improve their financial situation and like i said i want i want you guys to think about this before the song plays um and we're gonna like go over when 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 we finish and everything. So the song, me and my little brother, we produced this together. Obviously, I rapped. Uh, I was trying to, you know, bite his style a little bit with the uh, with the sound. But guess what? I think you guys still like it. So let's get in there without further to do. I got my check up. I got my check up. I got 
Said, bro was supposed to be on there with me he helped me produce it he's supposed to take the second verse and stuff but in the middle he's like nah bro like you just gotta finish it and so you know it, it's like that sometimes it's like that sometimes okay so the key questions before uh before we played the music uh let me just name all of them first it was how does the law of attraction work in a pr- in practical terms uh what are the fundamental principles behind attracting wealth and three, can anyone use a law of attraction to improve their financial situation? Now, the the easiest one to answer is the third one. Can anyone use a law of attraction to improve their financial situation? Yes. Because like we talked about the, the financial karma thing. You know what I mean? Obviously, doing more good things, even if it's for the short-term benefit. You know what I mean? Think about them long-term consequences because that's what you're attracting. That's the road you're going down. And um, the more you go down a path of righteousness when it comes to money, and we all know what it is. I can't tell you what that is um, because it's very situational, you know. And uh, really, like, what it, what it boils down to is um, us just, like, taking advantage of the type of mindset and energy we have and the moment in 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 the present moment that we have now to take advantage of what's going to happen to us long term and law of attraction is something that actually applies to to me i think long term 
more long term than a short term even though i would say it's probably both equally just like all things but the result that we pay attention to is just like you know how we attracted it in the long in the long game or the the end game or your long game yeah long game um and really like sometimes we just miss we miss the in between like you know maybe we should focus on that a little bit more but to answer the first question which i think might necessarily be like the second hardest to answer right how does the law of attraction work in practical terms so in practical terms the law of attraction means in the in the universe everything is equal exchange right and in, in the universe with equal exchange what you put in is what you get out if you plant seeds in in in, in the spring you're gonna get fruit vegetables and seeds when it comes fall like you know that's just the thing about it you you get what you what you put in pretty much and honestly when you're putting in it actually multiplies you don't just get what you put in you get more than what you put in so and that's that that also goes with bad things that also goes with bad things so just speaking about it in a practical term is like how does the law of attraction work in practical terms it's like you get out what you put in the universe functions off of equal exchange an equal exchange in the universe is not a robbery so the universe is never going to rob you of something as long as you continue the purpose that the universe has aligned for you you're straight and honestly i would say that 99.99 percent of people or even 100 percent of people are on that path are on that right path already and you're already the person that you need to be and you got to stop trying to be something else because trying to be something else obviously is not going to fit your path you know now when i now we're talking about change and how we can change ourselves we'd be like how can me uh not trying to be better fit my path it's like it'll just naturally align things that are understood don't got to be explained and i'm pretty sure enough people understood that like you know what i'm saying the hardest i'm sorry the hardest question to probably answer out of all three is like what are the fundamental principles behind attracting wealth and i wouldn't necessarily say that there's any fundamental principles that necessarily um is one fit all but um here maybe i could think of something real quick um yeah let me just let me just check on something real quick let me pause this sorry i had to make sure the baby is okay you know what i mean so because i felt like i was like kind of tripping out a little bit like i was just hearing things so i wouldn't say that uh that there's any one one size fit all type of approach when it comes to this the only thing that i would say would be I, all right maybe there's a few things i would say the one fit all approach when it comes about how can we actually use this principle to attract them wealth right one would be dedication you have to be dedicated to the goal in which you're trying to achieve, right? Two, I would say, wait, I just had it. One would be dedication. Two would be focus. And focusing has something to do with your intentions because you're paying attention. You know what I mean? So think about have clear focus with intention. And I think those two things there's probably a third thing because the world works in threes so i mean i guess we can try to figure something out let's so what was the first one dedication second one was focus and well i would i would say commitment but commitment is like uh same thing as dedication or if i were to say commitment i would look at it like skateboarding or any type of extreme sports you gotta actually like commit to the task at hand as far as like if you feel like you're gonna fail you're gonna fail like and a lot of times like when i was skating and stuff like that and we're saying situational not like that's what i said it's kind of different than um saying uh dedication commitment is like when i'm jumping down a flight of stairs on the skateboard i have to commit to it to the end and see it through not dedicate my purpose to skating no it's like i gotta commit to the things and in, in the situation and be able to like uh so i would say maybe like uh it'd be like have some like type of like um what is it it's not like endurance some it's a word that means endurance uh 
well, what would it be? It'd be 20, 20 minutes and 25 seconds right now. So if you guys could just, I think what the word I'm trying to think about and put like the timestamp, uh, 2020 or 2025, my bad, as a timestamp, I wouldn't, I want to say it's something that has to deal with like tenacity, but also like, uh, endurance, uh, something like that, but pretty much to answer like that question on uh what are the fundamental principles behind attracting wealth so like now let's just go into like the metaphysical concepts just trying to break down the energy and the vibration and the context of wealth creation we already pretty much did this on like the first three episodes but you know obviously just for extensive uh, purposes and plus like you have to keep repeating things in order for people to learn it is like you know you have energy and you have vibration The energy exists because it uh, has two different poles. And I said before, you are one pole and that what you want on the other side is another pole. And the vibration is pretty much trying to align both vibrations so you can become one. Because obviously, this is something that you want. You know what I mean? Uh, AC just turned on. I'm not, I hope that doesn't get in the way of the video. I think I got the noise canceling on, so we should be good. But it did just happen abruptly. So, um, also, like uh, talking about the metaphysical concepts, like when we think about the roles of belief, thought, and emotion, and how they shape our financial reality, that's also something that's like you know um, very important to think about. I am so sorry. Let me just turn off this AC. I know it's a lot of things that are just happening right now. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, let me just put on these headphones real quick. I really thought I had that squared away. I just don't want that to get into the feed and just like throw off audio and stuff like that. Uh, unless it's like pretty chill in this house. Um, yeah, so discussing like the roles like of belief, thought, and emotions and shaping our financial future, that's been the biggest thing throughout this whole like series. It's understanding that like that that it's us who who's in control it's not our situations it's not it's not it's not the people around us those are only things that that we consider half of the time not even like a good majority of the time because a lot of the times we know that it's us you know what i mean um and there's actually actionable like things that you can do on a daily basis to actually use the law of attraction to create wealth for yourself and like i said before like setting clear goals setting clear financial goals right cultivating a positive mindset because it starts with you and building up your energy right visualizing success and abundance i think we went over this on on podcast too you know uh practicing gratitude and affirmations we definitely went over this on podcast too and what I'm saying now is just to take inspiration in every action. There is no, there is no like tomorrow. There is no yesterday. Yeah, there is a tomorrow and yesterday, but those are all concepts. That's not all of what is to become of tomorrow or yesterday. Because there's just so many things that are unseen. Like Optimus Prime said, there's more to meets the eye. You know, you have to feel inspired in everything you like you do. You think I want to sit here and put myself like out here like this all the time, like to get ridiculed by you guys. You guys might not like the podcast, might not like the message, probably see holes in all this, probably don't even like the songs and stuff. But this keeps me inspired to keep living. Like to keep to keep trying to do what I'm doing because when no one else will listen. I listened to myself and I listened to like how I felt and I know it's not all about me but the approach that you have to like take to kind of feel inspired like you know from the world is to first take action and be inspired by yourself yeah so some of the people I would say like uh 
some of the individual i would say who use the law of attraction to create wealth i don't think it's anyone that i would point out individually because i would you could say celebrities and all that but you don't really know that um i would just say that most of the time that these laws and principles i'd be saying especially the law of attraction i think they just happen naturally someone someone did this at the right place in the right time and that's what made it like good that's what made it different like you know everyone's different approach and the different techniques instead of like someone like actually making a foolproof plan because a lot of the stuff that we see that actually works that already happened so how is it gonna work again and again and again and again and again into the end of time i mean it will because nothing new is under the sun but like you don't create you got to be like innovative you know and when we're able to analyze different approaches and techniques that's really the case study more than trying to single out an individual person right so just like you know some of the key like summaries like just throughout this episode if we were to like you know recap it it's like you know we just have to like go back and just think that all right light attracts light positive or negative positive or negative thoughts bring about positive or negative experiences these things about the law of attraction always been here throughout history like we're just documenting them now and when we think about practical rules and like how it could like actually work in a theoretical sense and and also practical sense it all falls back on us and what we're doing with our time energy and resources and anyone can do this anyone could just decide today to just do differently for themselves and like there's fundamental things about it like we said takes dedication takes dedication takes focus then we might add like a little third one to say like commitment you know what i mean but i want to emphasize the importance on just maintaining a positive mindset and clear intentions positive mindset the dedication to do it that's what that's going to bring about focus focus is going to bring about the clear intentions you don't have to answer these questions now but you'll you'll figure it out along the way and I really do believe in everyone that listens, you know? We're all a part of the light gang. Like you know, like gang? Squaw. You know what I mean? We all got like I really do believe in everybody. I believe that we all are light bulbs and the more you try to chase the light that you don't see that you're producing the light. And that light is not something that's necessarily like too important. You are that. It's just like, you know, every part about the existence is important, not just the light also the thing that comes from within also the darkness also like what makes us who we are the intangibles you know so just some practical steps that you could do to like implement you know this type of law daily i would just say like affirmations and visualization obviously journaling like you know definitely helps like this is my form of journaling is youtube you know what i mean it helps me like track the progress and also main fo- focus see what i'm going and it's like honestly like this is all keeping my vibration high can't even like you know can't even like fake it with you guys you know i just want you guys i want to encourage you guys just to apply like this in your daily life if y'all listen to this on a daily basis like i just want y'all to like apply it like you know what i mean because i'm trying to apply it at the same time as i'm trying to give it so i'm not someone who's just speaking on like a youtube channel that you know what i'm saying and i know a lot of what i'm saying is just gonna get clicked off of and like you know um but it's still no knock to anyone else like you know it really ain't no knock to anybody else I think everybody has like a beautiful mind and stuff like that and I think everyone is important you know so I want you guys to stay tuned for the next episode 
out of Metal Light Zone Theory. And that one's going to be about spiritual wealth and material wealth. And like trying to find a balance in between that. So in closing, I want to express my gratitude to all the viewers, the new and the old, man. The new and the old, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this podcast. Like, you know what I mean? Share this podcast. Turn on that notification bell. It's your boy, Metalite Ben. Like game, like game. Score! And y'all already know what it is, man. Peace.